bonus content, okay? Bonus content. Why am I not voting for Howie Hawkins or Joe Jorgensen? But let's be honest, if you're watching this video, your proclivities may be, why, why don't you vote for Howie Hawkins? Green Party, man, we'll get 5%, man. We'll get this shit, man. We'll win, man. It'll be great. I know you're not even on the ballot. I know I'm not even on the ballot because I'm doing the character. I know I'm not even on the ballot, man, but we'll win this time. I voted for Jill Stein in 2016. Now, I lived in Maryland and not North Carolina, so who knows? My calculus at the time may have been different, but at this point, I live in a swing state, so I'm voting for Joe Biden. But why am I not voting for Howie Hawkins? Why am I not voting for Howie Hawkins? Let me tell you. One, and I know this is going to trigger you. I know you're upset right now. He has no chance of winning. I know, I know, I know. It sucks. I know. I voted for Jill Stein in 2016. I'm where you are. I was four years ago where you are right now. I understand that. Okay? I get it. It sucks. You know, you look up, you wake up every morning and you look at the polls. Are they, are they polling at 4%? Has Howie polled past 2% yet? Does it happen? You see a poll, 3%. Oh my god, you're adrenaline. I get it. But right? It doesn't matter. He's got he's got no chance. The campaign is shit. I, I know, I know, I know, I know. It sucks. I know. I get it, dude. Voting for Biden, I don't want to do it either. I live in a swing state. I'm making that calculation so you don't have to. I'm not here to shame anybody. Right? But... God damn, the Green Party is so bad. They're so bad. I voted for them in 2016 with the expectation that they would do literally anything. Literally anything at all to expand their position from 16 to 20. And if anything, they've managed to lose ground. Either that or they're just kind of growing in the same communities that they were last time. I don't know. They're not expanding their base. Uh, have you seen Green Party television ads in North Carolina, in Arizona, in Michigan, Wisconsin, Florida? Oh, like, have you seen any Green Party Howie Hawkins advertisements that are targeting, like, you know, the working class or anything? I haven't. I haven't even seen them produce those advertisements. Now, maybe they have. It's totally possible, right? Let alone have I seen them on TV. Now, I don't watch TV, but I feel like I would see that circulating if this were a thing. Have they been campaigning anywhere? I don't think so. I don't think so. So, what? You think I'm going to vote for Howie Ass Hawkins when he's barely even campaigning? Campaigning? I'm more likely to vote for Bernie Sanders and write him in than I am to vote for Howie Hawkins. So, I'm sorry. I'm not buying that bullshit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't buy Howie Hawkins. I don't do it. I'm sorry. And Joe Jorgensen. Now, this is, this is important. This is important. I was on Twitter the other day. Joe Jorgensen uh, was talking about Bitcoin. And I, I replied to Joe Jorgensen on Twitter. And she liked my tweet. I got a Twitter like from Joe Jorgensen. So if anything, Joe Jorgensen is honestly, I'm more likely to vote for Joe Jorgensen than I am for Howie Hawkins. And I am an anarchist communist, right? It's just that I don't respect the Green Party that much that I'm willing to vote for the Libertarian over the Green, okay? But really, Joe Jorgensen liked my tweet. I am infinitely more likely, right, to vote for her because of that. I haven't got... Has, has Howie Hawkins liked my tweet? I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe they have. And if they have, I probably wouldn't have been as excited, to be honest with you. But... Because, come on, I'm so sorry. I'm, and I, I really, and I, I just want to point this out. I really don't mean this to be a personal attack on anyone. Like, if Howie Ass Hawkins, like, watches this video, right? God forbid. God forbid if Howie, I'm speaking of you in kind of the, the campaign sense, you know, not you as a person. You know, these people seem like fine people, you know, very fine people, right? But it's just the campaign sucks. Come on, you got to be honest with yourself. All right. Um, anyway. Yeah, Joe Jorgensen liked my tweet, 
But like, honestly, I know nothing about her. If the Libertarians nominated Vermin Supreme, that could have been actually pretty funny. That could have been pretty funny. So, but uh, they, they had that missed opportunity. So, Libertarians, somehow they did worse than Gary Johnson. Gary Johnson was funny. Gary Johnson was bizarre. Gary Johnson obviously smoked way too much weed in his fucking appearances, like campaign appearance. I gotta get some Gary Johnson sound drops for my, my intro thing. Gary Johnson has some extremely funny 2016 moments. But this isn't Gary Johnson, this is Joe Jorgensen. And let's be honest, you gotta be real here. Now, libertarians watching this, libertarians, maybe I should just cut this into four different videos. I should just cut this into four different videos. One for each of them. Anyway, um, libertarians, I get it, right? Joe Jorgensen endorsed BLM, which is a commie Marxist organization. I'm right there with you. I'm right there with you. The idea that libertarians nominated someone like Joe Jorgensen and Joe Jorgensen would signal support for protesting and the libertarians, you know, Oh, I just want to smoke weed, man. I want to do whatever I want, man. This is my property. If I want to, like, you know, burn toxic chemicals here that pollute the air, I, I have my right because it's my property, man. Right? These people, all of a sudden, they hate protesting now, right? Because this is the Trump era. There's no such thing as a true libertarian in a Trump era. You think there's... you? I've been looking for these libertarians, right? And they always turn into Trumpers. I had a few debates with a couple like a year ago, um, a year and a half ago, and then like, you know, like even a couple like earlier this year with some libertarian leaners. And at the end of the day, all they turned into were generic Trumpers. There's never like, a, a, I haven't seen the libertarian that's been like a massive voter, like in comments, you know, showing up in tweets or exchanges or like news sites with their articles. I haven't seen them. I haven't seen them. The the pro free speech libertarian. So you have Joe Jorgensen signal support for protesting, and then half of her base is like, fuck it, cancelled. You said that black people actually matter in this world, you're cancelled. That was one of the funniest exchanges to me I've ever seen. I've ever seen. It was just so fucking funny. Absolutely hilarious. Um but yeah, I mean, Joe Jorgensen's not a real candidate. She's dumb and boring. Do I really need to explain why, I ha why I'm why not voting for Joe Jorgensen? Like, hello? That's baked into the cake. If you click on this video, if you are able to find this video or watch this live stream, you already know the plethora of reasons why as, as to why I'm not voting for Joe Jorgensen. So I don't even need to think about it. Fuck it, right? She sucks. We know she sucks. This election sucks. I'm voting for Joe Biden. That's the end of my little speech. That's the end of my speech. Okay? I'm turning the I'm turning the music off. How is everybody doing?